In this video, we're going to look at two different amplifiers. We have a single transistor based amplifier and we have operational amplifier based amplifier. Let's look at the transistor base, what we got. We got uh, at the heart, we got the 2N3904 PNP transistor. We have 50K for its collector and we have a 5K going down its emitter and we have a 5K to its base. We got uh, the base, the bias of this transistor is set by a potentiometer, 50K, swinging from the power rails. I'm using only a potentiometer because it's much quicker and easier to bias the transistor than to have individual resistors and me trying to figure out which value is the best. Signal is AC coupled in via 0.1 microfarad capacitor and the signal is AC coupled out from the collector, again, via a 0.1 microfarad Capacitor. So we've got RF, RF coming in and out. The power supply is 20 volt again. Same. And now we look at the operational amplifier base. Again, the 20 volt power supply we have, which is single rail. Uh, as we need to get a single both swing, negative and positive. So we need to set the middle ground voltage on its non inverting wire 20k resistors, precision resistors I'm using here. And the signal in via AC coupled again, 0.1 microfarad into the non-inverting. We get to the gain of the operation amplifier. So the in inverting via a 1K resistor, again precision type, via 0.01 microfarad to the ground. And the gain we set with the 100K resistor, again precision type. And over this, so we get about gain of 100 plus the one of the up amp. So the gain is 101. And the power supply was a single rail, 20 volt. And let's look at our scope. Okay, so this is our scope. Oop, a bit shaky there. We have our signal coming in, which is roughly about 100 millivolt peak to peak. We got our transistor, which is around sitting around 4 volt peak to peak. And we got our op amp, which is division two, sitting at around, let's see, at around uh, 3.25. Um, no, actually, no, that's not the one. At around, yeah, at around three volt, three something volt peak to peak, our um, signal for the output of the op amp is. And the frequency is 145 kilohertz. So let's go down in frequencies. And you can see the gain of op amp is suddenly shut up. It's getting much more gain at lower frequencies because it doesn't have to compensate for slew rate and the gain bandwidth product of it. So the frequency the gain increases while the frequency decreases. The transistor is doing really well. It's kind of linear at what it was before. It's only lost a few hundred millivolt. And let's go up in frequency. As you can see, as soon as we hit around 60, around 50 or uh, 60 kilohertz, the op amp is just losing its gain and the transistor is almost the same. It's only use, uh, going up and down by about 300 millivolt, where the op amp is losing a lot. Yep, at 200 kilohertz, op amp is almost 2 volt peak to peak. The transistor is 3.7 volt peak to peak. So the transistor is performing really well for changes in frequency. Well, at around, I say, 200 kilohertz mark, the transistor is performing really good. And then that's where it starts to become like an op amp and loses um, amplification as the frequency goes up. So there we go. As you can see, great circuits. Use them what you want in your projects and for low frequencies and not have any changes the transistor performed really well compared to the operational amplifier but the benefit of operational amplifier is that you got a lot more control over your gain there's a lot you can do with the op amp that you can't do with the transistor but for something that doesn't change in gain much the transistor was very stable and very good to to be used in your projects I hope you enjoyed this uh, little short video of the amplifiers. If you like it, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe for other videos. And until good uh, next day, have a good day.